we think it is high time we sampled some Basque food. And in fact, we're here at Piperod to talk to the chef who could be arguably the Basque chef of his generation, Chef Gerald. Vicky, it's so good to see you. And you happen and to have some wine waiting exactly, for me. Exactly, and welcome to our new space here, which is uh, more like our family-style space where we're going to do a special gatherings. Piperod has been around for a while, and Dine and Dish, we like to try new places, but this is new, the space is new. I think it's very exciting, a bit more modern, but uh, still convivial and fun. Now, Basque food, how would you characterize it? Well, what I would characterize, I think uh, Basque food, uh, first of all, the Basque region sets in, a, in, in the Atlantic Ocean and the Pyrenees Mountains, and I think it is a of great seafood, vegetables, meat, and so forth. And, and I think it's a, it's a very sort of rustic cuisine where I think has been elevated, you know, the, the last few years and the last 10 years, I would say, by the great chefs of the Basque region, which, you know, we all you're, know. Yourself included, Well, right? I'm, I'm here, but a lot of them are back in the, in the country, and I think they, they, they really put the, the, the cuisine in a map. And I think it's a very tasty, very straightforward cuisine. What, what would be your top dessert? Because, you know, that's going to be Well, actually, next. the Gato Basque, I think, is fantastic. It's phenomenal. My top picks, the piccolo peppers, fresh seafood stew, and who could resist the Gato Basque? To find out more about Piperod, go to our website at cronfor.com and click on Dine and Dish. In San Francisco, Vicki Liviakis, Cron 4 News.